Hello there, my name is Laura Berman. I'm going to be introducing Peter Fitt. He is the Director of Maritime Institute. Enjoy! Well, it's nice to start off by having a nice young lady introduce you. What we're going to be talking about this afternoon is seaports. But before we go on with seaports, let's just do a little bit of a recap here. A seaport is a part of a voyage. But before we look at a voyage, let's remind ourselves about a few percentages which are very important. First of all, 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by water and we all know that it's free so that is why shipping is the most economical means of transport. Next, 90% of international trade moves by sea. Of that 90%, 86% is bulk cargo and 14% is in containers what we call intermodal transport. We also know that as ship owners operating costs, 72% is made up by the costs incurred in seaports. That's because the ports are not free. They're very expensive businesses. And we must also remember that a, a modern cargo ship of about 25,000 tons dead weight will cost about $30,000 a day to operate. So, the sea is free and the ports are not. Let's just go back to a voyage and remind ourselves that a voyage is made up of port time and passage time. A ship is either in port or it's on passage. So, a, and the voyage is a cycle. We're going to look at it from a cycle point of view is the ship Lee is in port learning for four days, is, is on passage for ten days, at a discharge port for six days, and ten days back again. So that the total voyage time is 30 days. We know already that the cost of the ship at sea is $30,000 a day, but what we're going to find out is what is the cost of a ship in port. So what is a port? A port is situated at both ends of the voyage and is a place where we transfer freight from waterborne to inla in in inland transport system or vice versa. As 90% of international trade goes by sea, they are called gateway, gateways to prosperity. The more you trade, the more you prosper, and the more efficient your ports are, the more economic is your trade. So, ports are gateways to prosperity. I know many of you will be watching this is scattered all around the world, but I'd just like to tell you something very interesting about Canada. Is that Canada has 13 primary seaports and over a hundred private seaports. Of these, many of them are just one berth. Many of them are on lakes and on rivers, so they are protected. But the major ones, of course, are what we call intermodal ports. Intermodal is between modes of transport, and of course we're referring to containerized cargo. With the intermodal system, of which of course accounts for 14% of international trade, there is a hub port at each end. We have a hub port because that is where we have water deep enough to have big container ships of seven, eight, nine thousand 9,000 TEU, and we know that stands for 20-foot equivalent unit capacity. So we have a hub port at each end and, and the containers are brought in or taken out from the hub port. So in a hub port we're either consolidating for export or distribution, distributing from imports. The port is run 
in the, in the big ports, well, what we call a port authority. It's a legislated body who operates, did you spot the spelling error? I didn't. Operates, maintains, develops a facility in which logistics professionals can transfer cargo in the most effective manner. What I mentioned to you earlier is this ship is costing $30,000 a day. When it comes into port, the ship and the transfer operation that we just mentioned doubles because the terminal and the port also cost $30,000 a day. When the ship comes in, the port authority guarantees that the ship will always be afloat <coughs> and they will provide a safe port. The primary role of a seaport is to move freight in the most effective manner. And this is what we call port logistics. We have a ship floating, we have a berth, and we're transferring the cargo between, between land and sea or vice versa. The most important commodity that a port has is time. And the time that the ship on the berth uses is split between operational time, non-operational time, and idle time. And the trick is to, to use, to, to create a situation where all the time that's being used is, is, is operational time. So, a port's most important commodity is time. Hope you enjoyed that.